Several East African leaders, including the former Kenyan president, Uhuru Kenyatta, witnessed the ceasefire agreement between DR Congo's government and rebel groups during the latest negotiation talks in the Kenyan capital, Nairobi. Now, recent clashes between the conflicting parties in the eastern part of the country saw thousands of Congolese citizens flee their homes for safety in neighboring countries. The lead negotiator to outline plans to hold a subsequent meeting to assess the progress made on the pitch deal. Here's more details of that in this report. In the Kenyan capital Nairobi, the Democratic Republic of Congo's government and armed rebel groups have agreed to a ceasefire in the latest round of peace talks. The talks involve the current presidents of Kenya, Burundi, the DRC, Rwanda and Uganda, as well as former Kenya President Uhuru Kenyatta, who acted as the facilitator of the peace process. Representatives of armed groups in the DRC were also present. All parties signed agreements on a raft of key issues, including a ceasefire and allowing emergency humanitarian relief to reach the conflict affected areas. Kenyatta said two follow-up meetings will be held in the DRC cities of Gama and Bernia next month, which will assess the progress of the new agreements and begin engagements on the medium and long-term peace agenda. The M23 rebel group, which had been leading an offensive in the eastern DRC, was not represented in the talks, but says it's ready to withdraw from occupied territory and will support regional peacemaking efforts. The conflicts between the DRC government forces and and the M23 group have displaced hundreds of thousands of residents in the eastern part of the country. The UN says some 680,000 people are in need of humanitarian assistance.